The Turkish shipbuilder delivered the world's largest electric ferry to buyers in Norway last month. Sefine Shipyard says demand for vessels that function without fossil fuels is rising. Now it's hoping to launch the same clean technology in its home market. Mobi Nasser reports from Yalova, which is Turkey's shipbuilding hub. No noise, no fumes and no carbon footprint. This ferry leaves behind nothing but waves as it transports people, goods and vehicles between Norway's coastal towns. At 142 metres long, the NB42 Basto is the world's biggest fully electric ferry. It can carry up to 600 passengers and 200 cars and it was built here at the Safina shipyard in Yalova, Turkey. The company says the construction was a mammoth undertaking, requiring months of efforts from thousands of workers. It's like we are building a city which has everything. It's a floating city, actually. Our own employers are 700 people, but with the subcontractors, we reach sometimes 4,000 people. So we have still workers and welders and also the piping and also electric part of the vessel is another subcontractor and painting of the vessel is another. Ventilation and this the spare structure and the, all, all that stuff is different uh, subcontractors we give. Covering more than 140 square meters, the shipyard employs as many as 4,000 workers. Besides electric ferries, Safina builds cargo ships, oil tankers, live fish carriers and emergency search and rescue vessels. The company has also worked on some of Turkey's largest infrastructure projects like the Istanbul airport and the Osman Ghazi bridge which spans the Sea of Marmara. For now, most of the vessels built or repaired here are sent to Europe. Last year, Safina earned around $200 million from exports now it's planning to sail into the domestic market by building electric ferries to be used on the Bosphorus Strait and in other parts of Turkey. The government is also on board. It's been encouraging investments in the EV industry and renewable energy. Turkey's solar power capacity has doubled in the past year and President Recep Tayyip Erdogan says greenhouse gas emissions will be slashed at a faster pace going forward. We expect a reduction of up to 21% of greenhouse gas emissions by 2030. Turkey is one of the most affected countries by climate change, even though it has not had a historical responsibility on the rise of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. Climate change is not only affecting certain states that are most polluting the world, but actually affecting all humanity. But switching over from conventional diesel-powered vessels to their electric alternatives requires large investments in infrastructure. The boats can cruise for about half an hour before their batteries have to be recharged. So high voltage power lines and battery charging stations are needed at ferry terminals. We have Turkish electric companies who can do the land part and the, the also the ship part for the electrical part. So we already have that uh, uh, knowledge, know-how. So it's possible to do it. And uh, as far as I know, government is working on that one. Many different companies and government departments will have to work together to raise the anchors on electric ferries in Turkey. And with an ambitious timeline to cut greenhouse gas emissions, it will be all hands on deck at the Safina shipyard. Mubin Nasir, TRT World, Yalova, Turkey.